The second physical model is the clock with three characters. The figure of the machine is practically intact. Two tanks in the higher part can be noticed, as well as the big main wheel and the secondary gears. In the lower part, the two mercury scales that control the movement of the two male characters are visible. The characters are not clearly drawn. At the strike of every hour, they animate and interpret a scene. The first one to move is the seated man with the astrolabe in his hand, which turns his head towards the woman located on the door threshold. The standing man moves towards the woman, and when he reaches her, a pebble falls from her mouth into the man's hand. With the pebble in his hand, the man returns to the original position and lets the pebble fall in the container. The number of pebbles indicates the time. Instead, the inverse movement is controlled by a mercury scales that, tilting over on the opposite side, brings the head back to the original position. The big upper wheel, divided in 12 sections, lets a pebble fall at every hour. This pebble goes through a small tube located in the woman's nape so that when her mouth is opened, it falls in the man's hand. The mouth opening mechanism is operated by a bar located on a sort of carriage that moves the man too. When the bar meets the cord connected to the woman's jaw, the mouth opens and the pebble falls. When the man moves away, counterweights move the jaw back to its original closed position. The man is located on four-wheeled carriage moving on rectilinear rails. The movement is activated by a pebble that falls every hour on a plate positioned on a mercury scale. When the ladder begins to tilt, the man moves. The cord that joins the scale to the carriage on which the man is standing is long and is responsible for moving his arm. A weight, located at the center of the machine, keeps the rope tense, preventing it from drooping. The most difficult site of the reconstruction was to insert all the mechanical elements correctly in a limited space. Even the simplest movements hide mechanisms rendered more complicated by the synchronized movements of the many elements. The combination of cold mechanisms that had to remain hidden and the beauty of the part visible to the spectators is particularly fascinating. In order to introduce the Book of Secrets to the greater public, Leonardo III has realized this exhibition and has planned every element of it. In the first place, in order to allow the public to browse through the Book of Secrets directly, a digital interactive manuscript has been created by using the L3 Digital Codex technology, which had already been used by Leonardo III for the Leonardo da Vinci manuscripts obtaining a worldwide success. All the machines are animated, and it is sufficient to touch a figure to see its 3D interpretation appear, making it immediately comprehensible. By touching the text, it is possible to read the translations or the transcription. The chosen interface is L3 Flat Table Technology, based on horizontal touchscreens in high definition. One position is instead based on the holographic projection combined with the touchscreen, high definition in this case too. Every single element has been studied ad hoc, and advanced technologies and methodologies have been used. Another absolute innovation is the digital restoration of the manuscript. The pages have been cleaned up and reconstructed, and the lacking parts of the drawings have been added, in the same way lacking parts of text have been highlighted with dots. An addition comprising a casket with a book, available in Arabic, English, French, and Italian, facsimile and a DVD-ROM concur to the diffusion of this work throughout the world. The entire project and the exhibition are financed by the Qatar Museum's Authority, directed by Abdullah Arnijar. Already a thousand years ago, inventors and engineers succeeded in making incredible self-acting machines work, laying down the basis of modern mechanics. In many cases, these were true works of art. It is a universe in wide part still to be discovered.